I'm going to show you how you can build a maze game like like this. I'm just going to give you a quick demo. Uh, oh golly. And you can run around the maze, find this, run out and escape. Escape. Yep, I'm going to show you how to build that. And we're going to use Unreal Engine. And we're also going to use Sweet Home 3D. Sweet Home 3D is not normally used for making maze games. But I'm going to show you how it's done. First thing, we're in Sweet Home 3D. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a maze. Get the wall selected. I'm just going to start there. That looks pretty good. Uh, like that. I'm just doing random lines. Hoping that this will be something like a maze. not really a very good maze but um, it is a maze say I must be nearly finished by now with this let's make that the entrance up there uh, it's not that neat oh, I think I'm making it a little too complicated but anyway I think I probably could escape that anyway let's draw uh, let's give that a floor okay let's just preview that in 3d it's quite a messy looking maze that it's good enough let's create a floor okay start there I'm gonna go down to about there go down to about there 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 oh, okay there and double click to finish it off okay that's good how do we use that model in unreal engine 4 like this 3d view export obj format i've created a folder called maze map i'm going to save it there as maze map it's an obj save export all that's good I don't need sweet home 3d anymore let's go into unreal engine I'm gonna delete this this uh, project and start again I'm opening unreal engine launch the unreal engine and I'm gonna create a new project and my project's gonna be based on first person desktop console maximum quality with starter content because it kind of gives me some of the things I need like the the little man with the gun I'm gonna call it sh3d maze demo create project okay so that's the project just uh, started up it's got a whole lot of default assets in it. I'm just going to delete most of them because they're not really needed. So I'm just doing that nice and quick. A whole bunch of blocks and things mostly. There's a, a sign there. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, there are a few various things there. 
which I will keep. Some of the shadows are baked into this uh, still, so, so I can actually get rid of those by, <coughs> by doing build, build lighting only. Okay, so those shadows are gone now. Let's get that object I made in Sweet Home 3D and we'll bring it into this play area. It's here in it's here in my uh, maze map folder. What I'm going to do is drag this OBJ file into this little area down here, just a any space. And I'm going to make sure I have a few things selected. Number one is combine meshes. You'll need that, otherwise all the different walls will be imported individually. I want it to be imported as one great big object. That is it. Now press import. Okay, so I'm just ignoring any areas I, errors I got there. Uh, down here, this uh, behind me is uh, the maze map, which I'm going to uh, drag and drop into there. Okay, so there. Let me just grab that maze map, which is behind my behind me. I'm just going to drag and drop it into that uh, area there. Now, from Sweet Home 3D, the model Sweet Home 3D has a different up axis than Unreal Engine, but it doesn't really matter. I'll, we'll just fix that now. With that object selected, I will rotate and use the rotation uh, tool here and rotate it around to uh, minus. No, rotate it the other way down to 90 degrees like that. Like so. Excellent. Let's move it a little bit to the side, into the middle, and I'm going to scale it to fit the kind of play area. So that is select and scale. I'll scale it like so. Scale it a bit that way as well. And let's just recenter it using the tools. Uh, you know, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I'm going to delete that wall and I'm going to delete that wall that and that because they're unnecessary okay let's have a look at this this is looking a little bit like looking promising what I'm going to do is make that map a little wider again like so and then just recenter it sideways Okay, so let's uh, focus on our player. So that's this little thing here. And I'm going to put it over next to what I called uh, the, the, uh, entry, the entry point. Which is over there somewhere. I'm going to press F to focus on it. That's where my character will start on that tiny ledge. Actually, I'm going to make that ledge quite a bit bigger. I can't get the tool. Okay, that's just a little bit wider now. Let's go back to the character. Press F. Character will be starting sort of in that place. And you can see on the little preview monitor there. Let's test that now to see what kind of problems we have and then we'll resolve those. To start the game, I'll make sure I'm in selected viewport. Press play. Okay. Oh, golly. Ah! I've fallen off. Doesn't matter. Let's start again. Oh, okay, I can move around. Now, I can't actually move. Oh, this is a disaster. I can't actually move into that place. There are two reasons for that. 
the first one is the door is too thin, but the second one is the collision boundaries. Let's look at the collision boundaries of this object. View or show. I'll turn off this, the static mesh and we'll look at the collision mesh. And we can see uh, that the collision mesh is just one doesn't look like a maze at all it's like a it's like a cube so what we need to do is go into this uh, maze map down here just double click it the trick here is to change the collision properties of this object so down in the collision panel here there's this thing called collision cl complexity and I'll press it I'll use I select use complex collision as simple now if I zoom in here and just show what I've just been doing I'll press simple collision or, uh, and complex collision okay it doesn't matter which one I press they both show although it's very hard to see on the video there are these purple lines now and that's the collision boundary so let's uh, just save that and get out of there so now the map is showing collision boundaries um, instead of one great big cube as a collision boundary which I could not ever enter radio let's show again uh, turn off collision and show again the static mesh uh, my second problem I'm pretty sure that door area is too small for my object to fit into but let's just give that a quick try anyway oh, that's a horrible noise yeah yeah it's too tiny it's too thin so anyway I'm just gonna make that bit wider let's have a look at that I'm gonna do that by making by scaling this uh, this map to be much larger Um, sideways larger very good let's just move that down 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 like this and give that a quick test oh. I should be able to now walk in yes I can walk into it oh, check that out F11 goes full screen that's like a real game that's like a real game now. Let's see if I can get over to the other bit where the where the ground stops. And see what happens when I get to here. No, oh, that's all right. I oh, know that's because I got a floor. I got a floor in my model. That's okay. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, for those of you who are still watching, let's just make this a little bit more exciting. Let's just get something from one of the Sweet Home 3D um, models here. Uh, let me just get rid of all, select all that and delete it. So I don't need that. Delete. Okay, zero, zero. Let's grab something interesting like a car, perhaps. A Ford Focus looks good. Let's drag that onto zero, zero. All right, I'm just going to position it zero, zero like that. This is zero zero. Let's now export that 3D view. Export to OBJ. I'm going to call it car. Export all. Let's go back into Unreal Engine. Let's get, grab that car and drag it in. Importing car. I've got combined meshes selected. Very good. Import. Ignore those errors. Okay, let's drag and drop that car into my model. F to focus. Once again, it's Sweet Home 3D and Unreal Engine use a different Z, uh, different up axis. So I'm just going to rotate that. That one. 90 yep very good I'm um, also going to raise it up high in the air oh it's got a floor that's no good
uh, anyway, let's uh, let's play. Let's move my character into it and turn him around so he's facing the car. There it is. <laughs> and let's just play. Let's see what happens. No, see how that car's floating in the sky? I'm going to give it physics. Watch this. Let's select the car. Physics, simulate physics. Okay. Now let's play. Whoa, look at that. Car drops onto the ground. Shoot it. F11 and. It's kind of a bit heavy. Let's see if I can. Give it a different ma uh, mass or a bit different weight. Mass kilograms. Let's just change it down to like 10 kilograms or something. Let's try that now. Whoa! See that go. F11. Let's. Uh... Oh! Let's do that again. F11, play, play, F11. wonder why it doesn't, it doesn't want to F11 until I've shot it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share. That was how to quickly create a maze game using Sweet Home 3D and Unreal Engine. And uh, you can do that too.